Hello everybody, it's Pam here with Tattered Paper and Lace, and I'm coming to you today to um, do a little tutorial. Uh, what you see before you today is a book cover that I have made that is going to be a steampunk journal, and then a box that I have used the same technique that I used on the book cover, and I wanted to show you how to do that. But first of all, I want to thank all of my subscribers. I appreciate you uh, coming along and subscribing, and I wouldn't be doing this if there wasn't people watching, so I appreciate you watching, and I hope you can get something out of the things that I do. So today is a tutorial on how to do this particular cover, or tag. I'm going to do a tag today. Uh, because I already have my cover made, so I don't need to make another cover. Uh, anyway, this is um, a box that I covered years ago. This technique is not my own. I Years ago, when I covered this box, I had run across a tutorial on how to do this look. And I have not done it since. I did this box, and I have not done that since. But I was it hit me the other day. This is a box that sits on my bedside table. And it hit me the other day that why don't I use this technique to make a journal cover? So that's what I did. And this is a Reader's Digest. And I gutted it and I have covered it in, with this technique. And I want to show you how to do that technique today. So let's get started. First, you need your substrate. I'm going to make a tag to go in this journal. So I've got a piece of 110 card stock that I'm going to use. It's six inches tall. I don't even know how wide it is. Let's see how wide it is. It doesn't really matter. It's a little over three inches. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you want your substrate to be. I'm going to make a tag. Uh, won't, cause, and this isn't going to take, this is not a long process, so it won't take very long. You will need uh, acrylic black paint. You will need... Uh, gold metallic duct tape. You will need something to apply the paint with. Then you'll need something to wipe with. And that is the tools that you need. So let's get started. I'm going to get my splat mat out. Push all these things aside. I'll get my splat mat out to do this. But I'm, I'm one of those weird people. I don't even like to get my splat mat messed up. I already did a little bit with the paint. Uh, I use a book page as my palette for the paint. And I am going to also lay this tag on the book. I have lots of book pages and lots of book. Um, let me make a little bit of adjustment here on how this looks. There we go. Uh, and I, uh, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. So I can throw the pages away and I've got lots, so I don't need to worry about that. So what we are going to do, I don't really need this yet. I'll bring that in in just a moment. What we're going to do first is to make the first layer and the, and the so you've got your substrate and you've got your duct tape. So all you have to do is take your duct tape and, and whatever size, you will do various different sizes. So you can start with whatever size you want and you just rip the tape. It's not that hard to do. It does not matter how it looks because it's gonna be a grungy thing anyway, and you just stick it down, just like that. You don't need to add glue. Duct tape's very sticky. It will not come up. This box, like I said, I've had for years. It is not sealed in any way. It is the duct tape. Uh, just as it comes with uh, paint over it. So that's what we're going to do today. So we get another piece and you just turn them all different ways so that sometimes the ragged edge is here and sometimes the ragged edge is, you know, this way. And I'm going to do this one this way. And what you want is the layering effect. And so I go through as I lay them down doesn't matter if there's wrinkles in it. That just adds to the flavor. Uh, I have this little um, this little roller. It is a wallpaper seam roller. I use that. 
to make sure I have this down. A brayer would work just as, as well. Your fingers work just fine. Uh, but what you see here is kind of a layering effect. You can see layers upon layers of the tape. And that's what you want. You want it to look like layered metal. So you just take pieces and you layer. Again, doesn't matter if it wrinkles. It doesn't matter if it doesn't wrinkle. There is absolutely no way you can do this wrong because however it turns out is going to be marvelous. So we're just going to layer the duct tape. Like I said, I, I came across this years ago from someone and they weren't, it, I wasn't doing journals then, so I wasn't looking for anything to do journal-wise because I wasn't even, I don't even know. I mean, this was long ago that I'm not even sure journaling, junk journaling was a thing yet. Um, I'm pretty sure it wasn't actually. Um, but this person was making a steampunk um, hot air balloon. And she used this technique to make the covering of the hot air balloon. It was very cool looking. And uh, so I made the box when I first saw this tutorial because I said, oh, I love that. That's very cool. I'm going to try that technique. And I covered that box with it. This box, because you also can see the layering it as well. Now you can't you can see the layering, but you don't see the layers underneath of that box for some reason. And I don't really remember why not. Maybe I didn't make it be definite as definite or something. But anyway, um, so I just, I love the idea. And then, so I just made the box and I don't remember who it was does not matter if it wrinkles, that just adds to the charm of this particular project. Like I said, you can't, it's impossible, absolutely, totally impossible to do anything wrong uh, for this because it, it turns out how it turns out and, it's, and you just keep working on it until you like the look. So uh, you do little pieces, big pieces, however, many pieces and however you want to do them it does not matter because it's all going to come out in the end when you put the paint on which will be the step we'll do after this but let's get our substrate all covered with the tape if you don't like this if you don't like grungy this is probably not for you uh, i do like grungy so, you, and, and you can do smaller pieces, just like I tore that, to make that be a smaller piece. Tore it in half. You can do that, if you wish. However, you can't do it wrong. Absolutely cannot do it wrong. I did this video the second time for this video. I did it earlier. My air conditioner in my studio kicked in. And it is very loud. So I had to do it again because I didn't I didn't want you to have to suffer through the noise. It was very loud. <laughs> um, and so now I have the air conditioner off so that it won't turn so it will not turn on uh, while I'm doing this. Okay, so you you know it's not not too hard to tear. I have arthritis in my hands and I can tear it as I tear it crazy. Uh, anybody should probably be able to tear it for the most part. And we just want to get it down really good. And like I said, it doesn't require any glue. So this is this is about the easiest thing I have ever done because it is just so simple and so quick. I made the journal cover today. I made the box years ago. So I don't know why I never used this technique again. It just it just hit me. 
that why don't I do that? Okay, so there we have it. You can see all of the layers of quote unquote metal. Okay, that's what we want it to look like. So we'll just put the duct tape away. We'll bring out my my book page palette here and my sponge brush. I used a paintbrush on the book cover. I don't remember what I used back. Uh, and I don't know, it's it's very it's very different looking. I did want the cover to be darker. Um, but I know this is what I did. I'm pretty sure this is what I did. Um, so, anyway. Oh, sorry, I just hit the camera. <clears throat> which is my phone. Okay, so now we just take our sponge brush. I'm going to make sure, I want to make sure all of these indents are very prominent because that's, to me, is what makes it look really, really cool. So I'm going to go over these lines with my, you know, you also could use to go over that with to make that look even more. Eh. Somewhere in here I have, oh, here we go. Is this uh, stylus? You can you can make those those uh, edges those overlapping edges be really prominent. I like I like for them to be really prominent. So I'm just going to kind of go over them with this, and you know you just just and if you don't want to do that, you don't have to do that either. It's all about what you want, what you want it to look like or not look like. So there we go. That's good. Now. All you have to do, I'm going to use the what I was using before. Uh, you just put some paint on your brush or your sponge, and you paint it on. I'm going to, hopefully, I will make this one a little bit lighter than, than the one, um, uh, than my book cover. I want it to be a little bit lighter. But in, in this, I'm not even having to really wipe off. So you might not need to wipe off. Depends on how thick your paint is, how thick you put it on. Um, okay, see, I'm liking that pretty good without even wiping it off. You can do it sideways too if you want, but I, I tend to, um, I'm gonna hold it. I tend to go up and down with the paint strokes. You don't have to. And it, as it dries, it won't wipe. So if you want to wipe, you got to wipe while it's still wet. But I am actually kind of liking that. Not wiping it. Letting it be lighter than my book cover. See, it's lighter than the book cover. It is mm, about like this. What I did there, I think, I, I, I don't remember because, like I said, it was a long time ago. But what I think I might have done there is some areas I just did it. You know, so that it would be kind of grungy in some of the areas. So I just dabbed paint on thicker right there. And make it maybe a little grungier in some areas. I'm thinking. I remember wiping the paint. And I wiped the paint on the um, on the book cover. Okay, that's kind of a it's kind of a neat little inclusion right there. I've got more paint than I need. It doesn't take much paint, so if you're about out of paint, don't it doesn't matter. <laughs> like I said, can't do it wrong. So we just paint it on, and you until until it looks like you want it to look. You can wipe off and see when you wipe off, it gives it a whole different look. I actually am not feeling like I need to wipe this. I did wipe the book, but I also put the paint on a lot heavier. So it, if you want it to not be as, I don't like the way that looks. So, if, so I didn't put the, the paint on as heavy on this as I did on the book cover. I put it on a lot heavier on the book cover and therefore wound up having to wipe more. I should have known better. Because it just takes a light little layer, just just like that. And I think, 
I, did, I decided I didn't like that little inclusion. So we're gonna make it look different. Like I said, can't make it. Do, you can't make it look wrong. I mean, it, it doesn't. It, it's you can't make it look. You can't make it. You can't mess up. <laughs> you just can't. You can't mess up. <clears throat> Any anything that anything that comes of it comes of it, and it looks great. So nothing nothing to worry about. And you just decide how you want it to look. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. It's a little grungy. And I like the sh a little bit of shiny coming through. So that is all. That's all that it takes. So now with my tag when it's dry, it's a little bit lighter than my book cover. Not a lot, lot lighter. It's not as light as the box still. <laughs> Look what I did. <laughs> oh, that's so, so silly. So, so silly. Okay, now I don't, well, that's okay. Do y'all think that's okay? I guess it's okay. Can't make it move on, so it's okay. I don't like it quite that prominent. That's okay. You see, it's still, it's still darker than the box. So obviously I wiped the box a lot because it's a lot lighter. But it is, this is a little bit, a little bit lighter than the book cover. But not more. <clears throat> so let's let's see let's see what it happens if I wipe it some more. It's probably too dry now. But you never know. Okay, see this is where I have oh I kinda like now I kinda like I kinda like what that did. Because when you paint back over it, it wets the paint again that's already there and it will then come off. But once this paint is completely dry. Okay, it will not come off. I'm kind of liking making it have some shinier edges, some shinier pieces. Yeah. I'm kind of liking that. Okay, that's how you do it. So you just work on yours if you decide to do one. Uh, I'd like to see what you're doing. If you have a YouTube, be sure to show me what you've done. Uh, and we'll see you on the next video. And when I get the steampunk journal done, I will do another video and show you how it, how that looks. So if you would hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, you will get notifications of when I do other videos. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.